solve this equation, where x and y are integers. This is a Diophantine equation. There are two variables in one equation. How to solve this equation? Usually there are different ways to solve this kind of equations. For example, one way might be to convert the equation to the product of two algebraic expressions of variables of interest equals a number. Due to the variables of interest are integers, so each algebraic expression is an integer factor of the number. This leads to a system of equations. Then solve the system of equations and find the integer solutions of the original equation. It seems not easy to do that for the given equation. Another way might be to divide the problem into different cases and narrow down the possible ranges of variables of interest. Then find the integer solutions for each case. The right hand side of the equation is y cubed. And the left hand side of the equation is sum of some cubes in x. We let p of x equal x cubed plus x plus 1 all cubed plus x plus 2 all cubed plus so on plus x plus 7 all cubed. We know that a plus b all cubed equals a cubed plus 3 times a squared b plus 3 times a b squared plus b cubed. By applying this, x plus 1 all cubed equals x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. x plus 2 all cubed equals x cubed plus 6x squared plus 12x plus 8. x plus 3 all cubed equals x cubed plus 9x squared plus 27x plus 27. x plus 4 all cubed equals x cubed plus 12x squared plus 48x plus 64. x plus 5 all cubed equals x cubed plus 15x squared plus 75x plus 125. x plus 6 all cubed equals x cubed plus 18x squared plus 108x plus 216. x plus 7 all cubed equals x cubed plus 21x squared plus 147x plus 343. Collect like terms, we can now write equals 8x cubed plus 84x squared plus 420x plus 784. Now we want to evaluate the possible range of p of x and therefore the possible range of y. p of x contains a term 8x cubed. We know that 2x all cubed equals 8x cubed. So we consider 2x plus a constant k all cubed, which is equal to 8x cubed plus something plus k cubed. To evaluate the possible range of p of x, we need to find k1 and k2, such that 2x plus k1 all cubed is less than p of x, which is less than 2x plus k2 all cubed. Then we can work out the possible range of y. For 2x plus k all cubed, the leading coefficient is always 8. The coefficient of x squared is equal to 3 times 2 squared k, which is 12k. As the coefficient of x squared in p of x is 84. So we let 12k be less than or equal to 84. We have k is less than or equal to 7. This means, for x being greater than or equal to 0, k equals 7 might be the largest number, such that 2x plus k all cubed, is less than p of x. So we try 2x plus 7 all cubed first. 2x plus 7 all cubed, equals 8x cubed, plus 84x squared, plus 294x, plus 343. It is not difficult to verify that, for x being greater than or equal to 0, k equals 7 is indeed the largest number, such that 2x plus k all cubed, is less than p of x. So k1 is equal to 7. Similarly, for x being greater than or equal to 0, k equals 10 is the smallest number, such that 2x plus k all cubed, is greater than p of x. So k2 is equal to 10. 2x plus 10 all cubed, equals 8x cubed, plus 120x squared, plus 600x, plus 1000. So now we have, 2x plus 7 all cubed, is less than p of x, 
which is less than 2x plus 10 all cubed. This implies that, p of x can only equal, 2x plus a all cubed, or 2x plus 9 all cubed. That is to say, y cubed can only equal, 2x plus a all cubed, or 2x plus 9 all cubed. 2x plus a all cubed, equals 8x cubed, plus 96x squared, plus 384x, plus 512. For y cubed equals 2x plus a all cubed, the original equation becomes, p of x, minus 2x plus a all cubed, equals 0. That is, negative 12x squared, plus 36x, plus 272, equals 0. The discriminate of this quadratic equation, equals 36 squared, minus 4 times negative 12, times 272, which is equal to 14,352 which is not a square number. So this quadratic equation has no integer solutions. 2x plus 9 all cubed, equals 8x cubed, plus 108x squared, plus 486x, plus 729. For y cubed equals 2x plus 9 all cubed, the original equation becomes, p of x, minus 2x plus 9 all cubed, equals 0. That is, negative 24x squared, minus 66x, plus 55, equals 0. The discriminate of this quadratic equation, equals negative 66 squared, minus 4 times negative 24, times 55, which is equal to 9,636, which is not a square number. So this quadratic equation has no integer solutions. In summary, the original equation has no integer solutions, when x is greater than or equal to 0. We notice that, p of negative x minus 7, equals negative x plus 7 all cubed, minus x plus 6 all cubed, minus so on, minus x cubed. Which is just equal to negative p of x. This implies that, x y is a solution, if and only if, negative x minus 7, negative y is a solution. We know that, there are no solutions, when negative x minus 7, is greater than or equal to 0. That is when x is less than or equal to negative 7. Therefore, x is greater than or equal to negative 6, and x is less than or equal to negative 1. So there are only 6 possibilities. When x equals negative 1, p of negative 1, equals 8 times negative 1 all cubed, plus 84 times negative 1 all squared plus 420 times negative 1, plus 784, which is equal to 440, which is not a cube number. So there are no integer solutions, when x equals negative 1. When x equals negative 2, p of negative 2, equals 8 times negative 2 all cubed, plus 84 times negative 2 all squared, plus 420 times negative 2, plus 784 which is equal to 216, which is 6 cubed. So xy is negative 2, 6. When x equals negative 3, p of negative 3, equals 8 times negative 3 all cubed, plus 84 times negative 3 all squared, plus 420 times negative 3, plus 784, which is equal to 64, which is 4 cubed. So xy is negative 3, 4. For x equals negative 2, y equals 6, negative x minus 7 equals 2 minus 7, which is negative 5. And negative y equals negative 6. So xy equal negative 5, negative 6 is also a solution. For x equals negative 3, y equals 4, negative x minus 7 equals 3 minus 7, which is negative 4. And negative y equals negative 4. So xy equal negative 4, negative 4 is also a solution. There are a total of 4 sets of solutions.